Hello there and welcome back. Last time we dealt with the trader Cassius and uh, we're going to continue where we left off. We're going to head back to camp. Um, there is a quarry here. Is this just a tiny, tiny region with just like one tannery? It's kind of what it looks like. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to explore the remains of this legion on our way down to uh, here because we can now also poison uh, the guy that's a problem. So, let's head this way to explore the sites here. Throw us, enemy, uh, send your legion to take the outpost. Honestly, we could do that, just send a legion to take the outpost. Uh, it would take enemy army strength, 2,300. Um, we have more, but we'll probably suffer some losses here. Uh, we are going to attack the outpost, I think. It's only a tannery, though, and a quarry. Which isn't the biggest gains, but there's also something here, so... You might as well take this outpost, get our board, it's a little bit prettier. Uh, I am going to... Make a move over here and lose these two things. Pristine basic armor with some decent uh, resistances. Money, a legion mission here for money, honestly. Uh, There's also an iron mine here and a tannery. So this is actually perfect then because I believe I need both an iron mine and a tannery to uh, make things work. I need five more slaves though. That's the problem. So hopefully we can capture slaves in this battle. And with that in mind, let's just move until the battle happens. Resolve battle. Uh, as you can see, we're a bit more equal. The scattered threshold. I need to do the scattered threshold unless I believe they will actually return and cause problems. We have the morale advantage for once. We have the experience for once. We have manpower. We have everything, basically. Um... Mario's Fronto here would give me no loot, which is okay, I feel. 100% uh, success chance, 100% survival chance, and I believe he has... No, this guy has the most manpower retained. But uh, I believe the survival chance is actually for the battle as a whole, so let's put this guy in charge. How should we position the troops? Uh, extended line... Uh, Manipul channels. Uh, again, I feel like aggression did work last time, so we're going to go with this. We'll get some injuries, but that's fine. Okay, we lost a lot of manpower to injuries. A ton of manpower to injuries. We already lost 300 men. And they've lost less than 100. Um... Honestly, at this point, charge might actually be the best move we have. Uh, lead by Santal, casualty, play aggression. Morale? Manpower? Right now, actually, things are going pretty badly. I'll have to be honest here. Uh, we could do some aggression. Uh... I really wish like aggression was a stat here that I could have a, a look at. Because that would make things a bit more easier to understand. Um We could turn up the risk to Centurionis. Uh but let's repel the cavalry for now. We could also stand firm, boost the I'm gonna lose a lot of manpower. But that's okay. They are doing a lot more damage than I expected them to, I'll be honest. Uh, we could recruit some of them. We could celebrate to get morale, or we could just chase them down to put down some of their manpower. And honestly, I feel like I have to do that in this case. It's not the hostibus! Eos 
Gained a decent amount of experience. We lost five morale because we lost so many men. You can see we lost 800. Uh, we lost 22 army experience because uh, we lost manpower. As you can see, only one of our attacks succeeded. Uh, our defenses were 50-50. That also played a big part in. So I really need to get commanders that have infantry and cavalry as their main traits, I feel like. Uh, complete the pacification and Troyaz. Troyaz. I could question him here, so that's fine. Uh, the Legion is currently unavailable. Let's see. Where is the pacification mission? How do I get the pacification mission again? Well, it doesn't matter. My Legion needs some rest anyways. Uh, and camp. Let's go uh, question the trader. I don't really think I have anything else I need particularly doing right now. Or what we could do is have a look and see if we have any new commanders. At your service. We do. Manius Veturius Secundus. Bruder, Scout, Architect. I do need some, you know, infantry specializations. Position Medicus. Honestly, using a Medicus as the leader in battle could be very nice. And he also has a cavalry specialization, so let's hire him. And let's have a look here into the... Uh, uh, I have some inventory items, but that's not what I want to do. Uh, Okay, so actually has more experience than me. That's interesting. I guess that makes sense. Um, the outpost then I need to do? Assignments. Barracks. Uh... Is he performing triage? He is healing. I could probably just leave him here for a while. 78 hours. We're going to bring him with us. The treatment time doesn't change. It's basically if I want to use medicine or not. Uh, party management. There we are. That's where apparently not. Let's have you start treatments. Oh, boy. Let's just go question him and then I can figure out how things work. Pacification. Okay, so I need to talk to him to get the pacification mission. That makes sense. Good night. Oh, hey. I know why he has more experience, it's because he did the pacification you have mission. Ruined everything. Then I did what I did for the sake of my people. I did not mean to skip that. Kill me if you want. Not interesting killing you. I'll simply start cutting up your limbs one by one for each question you don't answer. Uh, Bestia is currently injured, so uh, we're gonna go with the threat here. You wouldn't dare. Cut off a finger or Kalida. Honestly, Kalida is good for this job. Ah, ah, what are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm useless in a kitchen. I think the knife is stuck. Here, let me just... Ah! Oh, please! Stop! I'll tell you anything! The question is very simple. Who do you work for? Senator Vitellius Skyewola. Your brother-in-law. Skyewola is working with the pirates, providing them with protection from Roman authorities. In return... The senator takes a cut from all the plunder. That is absurd. Well, they do pay taxes. Everything was going fine until Lucullus and Cotter started their campaign against the pirates. So Skyewola struck a deal with King Mithridates. Collusion with the enemy. What does Mithridates get out of it? How should I know? 
Oh, I could threaten him with his family. You do realize we know where your family lives, right? I believe you. You're giving us more than enough. Uh, let's see if we can get some more information out of him. But... you can't. But we can. We just won't. For now. The king will retain Asia Mino, and the pirates will continue plundering coastal towns. All of the silver and the gold will be divided between Skyewola and Mithridates. Good boy. <laughs> uh, Vitellius Lurko is behind this. It's too clever a plan for Skevola. I wish I would have thought of it first. Honorless Doggy will pay for this. Finally, the pieces fall into place. We'll get with the last one. We have to report this to the Consul. Legate, here. The boy's armor. He Trainers won't need mail. it anymore. You have anything to say, Akaleos? I Akaleus? know how valuable of a hostage I am. I will not be intimidated by the likes of you. I could sell them, I assume. Uh, let's figure the out the pacification first. The vicious Spartans are organizing a rebellion against our legion. They're gathering support amongst the locals. Spartans? But this is not Sparta. <laughs> that doesn't seem to give them pause. Uh, why would people follow Spartans instead of us? Spartans speak the same language as the people here. I guess that is why they might be preferred if it comes down to a choice between two invading powers. Did any Spartans fight against our legions? Not to my knowledge. In fact, I doubt these are real Spartans. It is a nice method of attracting followers, though. Do they fight like the real Spartans? It seems to be the case. Their leader is said to be remarkably well armored, and the majority of them wield shields. Okay, so they're going to be a pain. I would advise against sending archers to fight them. Pikemen would be better suited for getting through that armor. This is not. This is a problem we don't need. We'll send someone At to once, deal with them. Legate. Our way, Legate. How is the morale? I am pleased to report all is well. Sure, there is some grumbling now and then, but that is part of military life. The Legionari respect your command. Give me a report on their manpower. Legio Weaktrix stands at less than half strength. We have enough men to send on missions, but if you can spare the denarii, reinforcements are greatly needed. Worse, the men we do have are not very experienced. We okay. I should also yeah. note... So basically, after that last battle, we have been weakened to the point where we're actually in they trouble. They caught Cassius! I saw them throw him into the hole! I need five more slaves for... Okay, let's trade five, 50 medicine for five slaves. And we also need to upgrade the skills for those that leveled up. Another medic. Honestly, I need the spearmen, so do you have any skills that break armor? Destroyer. Two armor shred. Okay, that's... uh. It's also a two range, so we need that skill. And honestly, I'll do the same with this guy. We just need people that can break armor because it seems like it's going to be a pain in the future. So we'll go with that. that Close. traitorous bastard, right? I hope he's executed um, for what he did. Me and the boys are going to throw rotten food at it when our shift ends. Want to come? You best so, believe I will. Outpost management, it's the upgrade that I have potential for. Uh, party management, it's inventory. Traders mail. Uh... <laughs> what should I, who should I equip this for? Maximum resistance, uh, 11%, armor cap 2. It's actually pretty good, all things considered. It's better than my armor. Uh... I guess, honestly. I lose a bit, little bit of his resistances, but the maximum resistances, the armor cap. Guess we can use it, it looks shiny. Let's see, do we have, you can use this, there we go. Only problem I have is that we don't really have any basic, uh, you know, good items to give them. I need to. Uh, I need to get the armory up and running. That is my first priority. I might also reinforce the legion. You spend some money. We'll have to see if something like an attack pop up, pops up from the people we uh, beat. That will definitely uh, happen. Let's uh, go and pacify the region, and then we can head out to uh, deal with the other things. A detour. It's been a fairly uneventful day until the path you were following is swallowed up by a dense wilderness ahead. 
You consult your Praetorians, and together you decide to press on, a stumbling back may cost you a day or more travel. Of course, in this place, wilderness is just... Just never wilderness. Soon enough, there's a sharp snap and a miserable howl of pain as Fabius has stepped into some old hunting snare. Fabius has sustained a light leg injury. If friends free him quite easily from the trap, the injury doesn't look too bad, but it's clear that his leg will need more than just a bandage. Okay, so let's have a look here. Uh, Lucius Fabius, which is one of the people that we need for this next thing. He also loses an armor shred. That's... Uh, Uh, that's actually bad. It'll take six hours to treat him. Okay, so it's not too bad. Fabius has been healed. We actually just bent in a big circle. Uh, let's enter. Honestly, Cineros, can I send you as well? No. So, Cineros for the... Triaris, Triaris, Velas, Incepts. Honestly, I'm going to send all of these and we'll see how this goes. It could get interesting. I might just have to... I'm actually tempted to send Kalida, but again, if all of them are armored, Cineros is probably the better choice. Let's confirm. I've been relying quite a lot on the you know, ability to uh, use the shields to block damage. Okay, let's see what we have to contend with. This is it. These are all the legionari Rome has sent to fight us. Clearly the Romans still do not understand the threat we pose. Perhaps they will understand when they see the heads of their people adorning spikes along the road. Okay, let's have a look here. Preparation. Um, how many enemies are fighting? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, he's like uh, Akalaos, but there's a lot of weak enemies too. I should have brought a couple of archers. Now, do I want to split my guys into two here? That is the big question. I could pick up javelins to disable enemy shields. So, let's have you two go up here. One man to back you up. Um, again, we're going to focus on killing the shield boys first and this should be enough to do that we're gonna pick up the javelin if we can and disable the shields and work from there is it the best strategy uh, remains to be seen but for now this is what I've chosen to do six piercing damage to armor shred okay so it does actually have some, uh, you know, assistance here. If I want to attack, I can't pick up the uh, pylum. Flies knocked down to enemies. Let us knock him down. Hopefully, he did not get knocked down. Four to six slashing damage. Let's go. We hit a glancing blow. Now on this side, we could just rush up and pick up the pylum, but honestly getting rid of this one is probably more important. I made a mistake here, uh, he's not properly flanked. Oh never mind, he is. Uh, deals 100 plus damage to flying targets, it might actually just kill him if I'm lucky, not really. Okay. Uh. That blow, yeah. Place you here, place you here, place you. It's not a good way to actually place them now I look at it. Let's place you up here to, you know, cause a little bit of potential trouble. You actually have unspent action points. Why did I not realize? Uh, let's get rid of him. There we are. Uh, do we have any movement points? Let's have you pick a pylum. Let's have you also go and 
retrieve a pile of fight for your land or you will die a slave in Rome you actually threw okay so they they also have pylums and they use them quite aggressively we stay here. this was this is they not part of the plan on our terms they want to stay up there that's fine by me I could also rush the leader, but oh, you are good at jumping. Let's see here. Let's move you over here. Uh, I could use a pylon to chuck it at him. Or I could disable his shield, but for now, I don't really feel the need to. Let's just do this. Uh, we'll move up here as well. I need to remember that all of his skill is basically long range attacks. This guy has a tree. Three. Three uh, range because again, spearmen. They are second line units. Um. Let's move you up. Yeah. Let's have you get rid of him. Here we are, action restored. Okay, can I use cure? Okay, I can't use cure to heal. That's uh that's a bit of a problem. Let's move you over here. You can still head from that range, that's the best part. Uh, apply stuck to enemies, apply spotted. Let's just stick him there. If he, unless he has more pylums, he can't actually attack us. Okay, uh, now it's time to deal with you. You have three hex attack. You can actually attack from there. Okay, I'll take that. Five to nine shield damage. Will we roll a good roll here or will we be in trouble? We broke his shield, good. Now, should be able to move two more steps after this. Which allows me to place him here, but it does make him potentially, you know, squeezed in, which is bad. Uh, let's go with overpower here. And picking up a pylum is not advisable because, again, we can't really do, can't really do it. Is weakened. That's good. Let's go and do that. There we are. Sinros doesn't actually. I could give. I lose my action points. It doesn't actually matter. But I could move the shield man. I had hope I could move him up front, but clearly I can't. So let's just leave it at that. Oh, the commander is getting involved in the battle. He summoned a standard. I might have to just fall back with these guys, honestly. Stand your ground. Let them come to us. I love that the militia is the one barking commanders instead of the leader. Okay, now let's see how we want to do this. I could kill him. I could also do a two armor shred. Because the goal is to kill the leader. That's all we really are here for. Can I tank the damage while killing the leader is the other question. This is a regular unit, so he will basically... Um... I'll get my attack back, so let's get rid of him. Then I can start working on his armor, or I can start working on the uh, shield man. Honestly, he doesn't do too much damage now, so let's just do this, and then we can uh, knock down the shield. Okay, only a glancing hit, so it didn't actually do anything. Uh, 
Currently, this guy is actually in a position where he doesn't actually, you know, help because uh, because I put him there. So, Senro, since you are actually in danger, I'm gonna try and make you move. You got completely destroyed by that attempt. It's all right. I'm going to live. Let's move you forwards. Let's use a slash. Die, filthy barbarian! You got panicked, which is really bad. Uh, yeah, that was a that was a bad move by me, Chief. We need to get rid of all of these. Uh, let's have you do a. I could run him and use him to cure, but again, it's the problem that I place a unit on top. But that would have happened anyways. Uh, but we can kill the shield and then move, hopefully. Okay, let's uh, get rid of his shield. There we are. Then we'll have you hopefully kill him. You didn't kill him, okay. Uh, wait, can I teleport through? Okay, never mind. Can't really. That's not what I wanted to have happened there. There we are. I need you to start moving over to help this side. And you two will have to deal with this problem on your own. Have faith in yourselves. The gods will carry us to victory. I guess it's time to start using the pylums. Yeah, this is bad. They're, they're stuck in a they're stuck in a loose loose. We won't be able to win this. He's disobedient. Well, he did at least, uh, you know, destroy the shield. So this is five health damage. It won't kill. Uh, does it cost an action point? It's a use cost, so I can use it for free. Since it won't kill, there's no need to. He's still disobedient. He'll be disobedient for one turn. Um. I thought this was a double stab last turn, that's why I used it. Sneak attack, generates a focus. Hmm. Savage to self, 100% critical chance. Uh, I wonder if I can use that to cheese the... Let's test this, if I can cheese it into a critical. No. So it's guaranteed not to be a critical, that's good to know. Uh, since these guys are running to help, we will do the same. Can I block him? I could potentially, but I'll probably take damage doing so. I should have picked up a pylum earlier. I should I should have picked up pylums by all of these, honestly. Okay, let's see here. If we use a slash. I can hit both of them, and then I can finish him off with a pylon. There we are. Uh, problem is, I'll take damage by doing this, and he doesn't have much left. He'll probably die before I even get the pylon thrown. Let's end the turn. The big question is, can he... Oh, he killed him. Crap. Yeah, that was me. We will Mars has forsaken me. I should have put Cyrus in the back line. That's my bad. This is very, very sad if this is how the first run ends. I will not last long here. It can't end like uh, of course you run away. I'm Why? Sorry, friends. It's too much. Why are you all such cowards? Well, this guy needs to kill this one before he can even do anything. There we are. Pick up a pylum. Uh... Can't really hit anyone with a pylum either. So, move down here.
Target isn't cover. The only thing I can really do is just stand here and try and, like, you know, get him back. Uh, because I need to get over here and resurrect Cineros, because if not, he's gonna... Uh, what happens if he bleeds out? I'm actually curious about that too. But I need my men back here if we are to do anything. We'll need to fall back to the pile. I need to just ignore these. I guess he'll die, but he's a story character, so... He's gonna hold both of my guys in, you know... They're gonna deal with him. They must fight on our terms. Yeah. Actually just kept my uh, units together. Dealt with them one by one. Our next battle will be in Hades. It's all fading. Somebody should stop this bleeding. I I can tell you how. Okay. So the problem here is the range, um, the range. The range. Bludgeoning. Enjoy the taste he of survived with steel. one hit. Okay. Uh, inspire. I could use inspire just to get him another attack. Uh, does it not shred armor? It says I can do this, but he'll will he run away. Deflected, okay, because he's using his shield to defend himself, I assume. I should have broken his shield with the other one first, that's my bad. 3 to 6 piercing damage in exchange for... It'll use my my thing though, so... Let's just do a slash. He straight up deflected it. Okay, so I didn't even do shield damage. This should be a loss to us then. Pretty bad loss. The fact that he pushed him back though... Okay, they knock one down. The other two are gonna get uh, completely, uh, completely panicked here. Yeah, game over. Can I load game? Kill me. That's, come. That's too much blood. My vision is darkening. Okay, so I can load the Iron Man game. Uh, let's see what happens if I load the Iron Man game. So basically, I, I can let the other ones bleed out, but the story characters I cannot. So. Okay, so this reloads after the the start of the battle. Okay, so you can redo the battles, even if it's Iron Man. Um, that's an interesting one. Let's make sure we pick up and use Pylums whenever we can in this one. And see if we can do better. Let's see. Do I want to use a... Well, I'm in the area of attack, so I'm an idiot anyways. Break the shield pylum. Pick up another one. Move here. You should have a two range attack. You do. And we'll just fall back a little bit instead of being super aggressive. Let's see. Heavy blow. Let's use it. There we are. Let's see. Can we fall back? This guy can't move, so let's do it like this. This flank will be protected like so. Can I hunk it down or anything like that? Let's do, use Brace. Uh, okay. I must have misunderstood what that does. So, you can actually hit the Shield Man. If I want to. And honestly, starting to work on the Shield is probably a good idea here. If I just... Uh, Cannot heal hit shield uh, shield boy, so let's move you here. And here. 
then slap him for the weekend. You over here and just have you slash him, get rid of him. Let's push up and keep Shieldman in a position where he can't throw his peeler. And you have a 2 hex attack, you also have a 3 hex attack. That's actually problematic, when I think about it. Can I pick up a torch? Yes. A torch uh, to the hex and any character standing on it. Uh, putting him on fire would be a bad idea, but how far can I throw this? Okay, let's put this guy on fire. Can you do another one? Okay, so I can only use one item per turn, but still. I need to really pay attention to the maps here. We'll fall back with these guys, I think. Pull them up back over here, and then we can work from that, because this tile is now blocked off. We have blocked off a... Well, area denial is also an important thing that we can do, to just force them to come from one angle where we have the advantage. That could also be uh, an interesting way of doing things. Cut them down. Show no mercy. Yeah, those peelers are a pain. We stay here. They must fight on our terms. Let us see what we can do. Um, you basically gain most of your shield back, so let's strip that away. I could also just put fire onto the guy behind. I can actually hit the guy behind if I want to, so that's interesting. Uh, let us move you up here, and then there. Because I can literally just force them into sending one person at a time. Let us you see to pierce the armor. Because I believe the shield can block the status effect. Then we use a overpower or do I want to use backstab? Sneak attack, there we go. I hit pretty well. Now, as I said, I kind of want to fall back with these guys over to the other side, so we'll do just that. We'll make it so that the enemies kind of have to follow us. We've taken so we've stolen all the peelers, and now we're running away. That's basically what's happening here. Uh, not hit anyone with the peeler, so no worries there. How about you? They don't anyone either. Send turn. We will win today. I'll see if I can cheese it with the fire. I'm basically exploring strategies at this point. Stand your ground. Let them come to us. Okay, so there's no real backup here for this one, so we can kill this try and kill this one unit at least. Uh it should be okay to move around this rock so we get two people attacking him. Okay, clearly it wasn't enough. All right in this case, that's my bad. Two hexes. Uh, try and use you to just knock him down. There we go. Let us move back. Okay, now we can deal with the other enemies. The range is an issue. <laughs> I didn't actually imagine range being an issue. I kind of need attacks for every every range at this point. 
Alright, let's just use this to break the shield. There we are. Let's use to slash him. Go forwards and overpower him. There we go. Get some focus. I kind of want my shield boy here, but as you can see, the fire actually stopped working. In terms of enemies, there are... Actually, not that many left, I believe. I'm gonna gather some peeler here, and then... No tactical... Okay, so I can only pick up one... Okay, that explains a couple of things. I can only pick up one tactical item on the map. The other two slots are... How to put this? For the, enemy to come. the other two slots are map specific, I guess. Like two slots are what you can bring in. The last slot is map specific. That's what I was trying to say. I was just articulating myself very, very poorly. Uh, now that we have everyone up here, basically, we are going to uh, start moving towards this guy. formation slow and steady they're playing safe kind of what I want to do okay where is my shield boy there you are well, we'll keep shield boy in front he's just outside the range of the peeler you have a peeler too let's move you up you have as well move you up you as well, move you up. I might want to flank here because it's only like two, three wide. You have a torch. Should be good enough. You can pick up the last pilum. And there we are. We'll move forwards. I might get peppered with the uh, spears here in a second. Oh, are you coming? Yeah. Get over there. Advance. Protected here. Be ready. Okay, let's see here. We want you to move up here. Up here. So you can basically be in the center and block any attackers. And we'll move you up here as well. Stand next to him. I can't actually get... Let's see. Do you have range attacks? Yeah. You can actually attack from below. That's I thought I basically need to bring them up here, but the range attacks can do it. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, range three hexes. You should have surrendered. Range. Okay, you don't actually have any good ones. Uh. Let's bring you over here. We can then use the Warhorn to rally everyone. And then get rid of that mana, please. There we are. Let's see, do you have any good skills here to use? Uh, it applies for two turns, so we'll wait until the next turn before blowing the Warhorn. Oh lord, he coming! Stay here. They must fight on our terms. Okay, now the fun begins. So first and foremost, I would like to peel them, everyone, if they can. But for now, I want to break the shield first. Yeah, we got the rally going. 6 to 11. That should be enough to break the shield. Uh, let's do it. We'll also throw a uh, fire over there. So they'll have trouble, you know, crossing, getting to us. We'll use the pilums to... Oh, kind of see target. That's a, that's a yikers. Let's start shredding. Let's see here. You don't have any, you know, proper damage. The proper damage type. Uh, you don't have any skills to use. Hmm.
Okay, so let's move you up here. Let's move you here. We are going to... Uh, you don't have super good armor shred, but you have enough to do a little bit of damage. Okay. Piercing damage, is that? It's, I feel like piercing damage should go through armor. To some degree. Uh, uh, okay. Let's see. Oh, I didn't realize you had another shredding skill. Let's just keep him in place. And we'll end it with that. I don't think they, my people can do much damage here. Zero to four. Four damage, there we go. How about you? Zero to three. There we are. here for the enemy to come okay so he's going the long way around we should be able to kill the commander this next time you had another torch to just throw down here and it would just keep them trapped there let's see Let's see if we can get you guys to break the shield. And then we slap him on the top of his head. It's like glancing hit. There we go. So this went a little bit better when I didn't, you know, Split up my armies. I'm. I did a bad job. I should. Uh, I need to play a bit more conservative, and that'll make things a bit easier. Uh, let's see. Got a lot of things done here. Uh, sadly, it doesn't look like there's any loot to be gained. Wait, I need to alt. That's why. That's why it doesn't look like there's any loot to be gained because I pressed the wrong button. Talisman of Athena too. Oh, movement point. That's pretty good. Let's see what these guys had. Bowstring. Some. It's a single pack lunch. That's actually kind of sad. Dagger. Some basic stuff. There's another chest up here. Can I go deeper into the cave? Doesn't look like it. We'll go and have a look though. Like if there's hidden treasure chamber or something. Let's go have a look and see if there's any way to enter deeper and delve more greedily. Doesn't really look like it. Uh, let's just... Uh, Let's just leave. We did well. And then someone even leveled up here. Let's see. Vanguard. Um. Having taunts would actually be good. The knockdown skill is also really nice, so let's get that one. Inventory ways, we might have gotten some upgrades here to some people. One of my boys is disgruntled. Okay, I actually have a shitty sword, I didn't realize. Let's fix that.
I might dismantle some things that I shouldn't now, but uh, I'm trusting in my character's standard, I guess you could say. There we are, we'll leave it at that for now. Come on. The only thing I kind of miss is just the ability to speed things up in this when you want to leave. But other than that, things are good. Uh, I should also probably have a look and see if the audio settings have been reset again. Let's just have a quick look, audio. Okay, go save this time, good. I was worried there for a second. Um, with this though, we are going to capture the Iron Mine. Dispatch Legion. We're also going to take the Tannery, but I need to head back to pre metallica the coolest wall camp here. And we're going to do so. Wait, did I bring my Legion? Oh, I don't think so. Uh, before we go, let's also get the Tannery captured. And maybe the quarry, we'll have to consider. I don't have the slaves for that though, so... I might need to start investing heavily into slaves. Because we need them to build things as well. We have returned. We'll go talk to Lucullus. But while we figured out, then we'll go kill the... Uh, the Apollo Temple boy. What can I do for you? Uh, you did well in Mytilene. Really? I was just following directions. <laughs> this grand assault kind of action is not really my thing. Why not? This is my first major battle as well. I guess we'll have to improvise every now and then. I, I don't like improvising. The results tend to be ugly. I agree with that. Uh, but for now, though, let's go talk with the... Okay, so all my men are here. Let's talk with Lucullus. It is as I feared. Witelia Skyawilla is working with Mithridates. And no doubt his brother is part of this too. We must take action. How long since you know, have known about this? Since the beginning. We were working with your father to expose Witelia Skyawilla and his brother. Alas... They outsmarted us both. Why would a senator do this? Power is the most intoxicating wine. Unfortunately, it is also poisonous. It's been a long time since the Senate stood for the virtues of Rome. In a way, Skyawala and his brother are the embodiment of modern Rome. As Skyawala married my sister to eliminate my father? To eliminate your whole family. Your father and I were getting close to uncovering this conspiracy against the very soul of Rome. Getting married to your sister after Marcus's untimely death made Witelia Skyewala your pater familias. A perfect play to get your family out of the picture. We will put an end to this? You should know that either Skyewala or his brother Lorco killed your father. There is no other explanation. We were so close to getting the family declared infamous. I believe they must have felt cornered. In their desperation, they killed your father. That is why your mother sent you here. She understood you were in danger, too. I shall strangle the life out of Skavola with my own hands. He must pay for all the crimes he committed, and I shall be his personal executioner. I owe you a lot, Lucullus, but the blood of my father should not be spilt in vain. I need to save my family and get them back from Skavola. What do you think we should do? We'll go with option two here. We will avenge your father and save your family. All in good time. Skeewala is a villainous bastard, but he is neither stupid nor careless. Never forget, the enemy is most dangerous when he is nearly vanquished. We shall expose him in front of the Senate. How, Domine? We don't even know where he is. By winning this war, he will be in Rome. All of this he's doing to conquer it. He won't be able to stay away. What shall we do with Cassius? Uh, kill him. I have no use of traitor. He's dangerous as long as he's left alive. 
Keep him alive until we're in Rome, he might prove useful. I guess his witness testimony could be useful. We could also kill him here to just, you know, get rid of him. I said that I probably would have to kill him, but honestly, I feel like this is the better option, maybe. Wise decision, Domine. There is another matter I would like to discuss. Let me know if you have a moment. Let's see what the uh, secondary uh, hmm. thing is. You've taken to command as quickly as I had hoped. I grew up hearing about your exploits from my father. In a way, I've learned from you. It's all about choosing the right people. I delegate most of the work to my centurions. Luck has followed me so far, but one mistake stinks down everything. Well, I guess my people have been doing a really good. Success is not merely about choosing the right people. It's also about making sure everyone is fighting the same battle. I've been observing your legion closely, and I've noticed something that may be of great value to you. I'm always eager to learn more from you. Observing a battle from a fire is not the same thing as being in the thick of it. Uh, we'll hear what he has to say. The cavalry of Mithridates is very heavily armored. Your own Equitas has had trouble with them. But I believe we can turn this into a decisive advantage. Try this. Order your Equitas to turn and ride away. Make it look like they are routed. Mithridates' cataphracts will not be able to resist giving chase. You're proposing a ruse? Removing the enemy cavalry from the bow would be a boon, but if my own cavalry is gone as well, I won't be able to exploit their absence. Uh, we'll go with one. The climate in these lands is very hot. It's stifling. And more so to men and horses in heavy armor. Once the enemy heavy cavalry is exhausted from chasing your equities through the heat, your men will turn and cut them apart. How can we should be sure the enemy cavalry will fall for it? Using a climate against my enemy. That's a brilliant idea. I'll go to here. It is likely to only work once. Word will spread of what you've done, and they will not fall for it again. Save this ruse for a moment okay, so of great need. Basically, a get out of jail free card. Uh, I found this symphony of Sangu's Jovis and Troas. I'm familiar with the vintage. It's said to be quite exquisite. I want you to have it. Well, we'll hand him the bowl with it. Really? Let me see. By Jupiter, you do know your way around a wine, I must say. We really must get you back to your father's vineyard as soon as this is all over. Rome is deprived of your talent. It will be difficult to get used to the peace and quiet of daily life in Rome. When I return to Rome, I'll have bigger problems than the vineyard. I always enjoyed that work and I look forward to getting back into it. Uh, we'll go with three here. The best citizen of Rome is one who is as valuable to the Republic in times of peace as in times of war. If you can find a way to put as much passion into the vineyard as you have put into this campaign, I have no doubt you will make a lasting mark upon our history. This is a fine gift. When I think of a suitable way to thank you, I like a new theme. I will send something to your tent in your legion's camp. What was the other matter you wish to discuss? Regaining control of Asia Minor is important, of course, but our primary objective is ensuring the safety of Carter. There may be a way of saving him without combat. I have arranged a meeting with Mithridates Magus. Everyone wants something. Let us see what our enemy wants. And I what guess, we can get in exchange for I it. I guess we're going to trade Cotter for Archelaus. Possibly. Uh, pardon me for stating the obvious, but isn't that a profoundly dangerous of idea? Of course it is. But is it more dangerous than anything you've done so far? We Romans tend to think of foreigners as uncivilized. But dismissing Mithridates as just another barbarian would be another way of underestimating the king of Pontus. Cotta paid dearly for that mistake. Besides, I have taken all the necessary precautions. Lamedontus will guarantee our safety. Where exactly will this meeting take place? In the same fishing village in Troas, where you found Cassius. Lamedontus agreed to mediate. We will meet at his villa and have an opportunity to taste his food. Oh, this is bad. I killed his guards. What if it's poisoned? I murdered his guards. That would not be a smart move. Frankly, if Mithridates wants to kill us, he will have the opportunity before we start dining. There's a fragile political balance in Troas. It is in Lamedantus' best interest to keep everyone alive. Okay, that's The fair. demise of either party... Means he uh, will die too. Do we intend to surrender? I thought our primary objective was defeating Mithridates. It Mr. still Dadis. is. But conquering a fortress 
and saving a hostage from said fortress are two tasks of vastly different complexity. Simply put, Fair enough. our task would be much more straightforward without the need to worry about Cotter's safety. Do we intend to surrender, or what do you need me to do? We'll go at what do you, you need me to do? You must learn about the art of negotiation. I think you should accompany me and take part in our conversation with Mithridates. Not to mention the great opportunity this represents for us. <laughs> we could assassinate him. What opportunity? She's talking about killing him. Probably by poisoning. Am I right? You are. But it is a great opportunity. You can't deny it. Everyone knows Mithridates cannot be poisoned. As I said, we will just be there to negotiate. What are we waiting for? Let us Armidontis go. Armidontis has a villa in Troas. We shall meet there. You will arrive unarmed. And on time. You should take this flask anyway. You never know when you will need poison. Do I want to bring poison with me? Or... Well, I can use this poison to kill the other one. You will not regret this. That's fine. Uh... She sounded very happy about me choosing to pick up the poison. Let's see, yeah. Uh, I could increase the base damage of my shield. Standing fast. Doesn't seem to be super good. Um, hmm. Let's see. Flawless defense. I guess that is what the Spartan used. Do I want to increase base damage to the shield or do I want to get more options? The minus 10 morale. Now, if morale is of 100 in Tega, it could be still interesting to use. So let's pick up Frighten and see how it actually works. And then we can get more health later on if I feel the need. Um. You need one more skill points to go down the Fender tree here. Oh, automatically curing, curing negative status effects. Protect. Uh, okay, so it's a defense skill that can take damage from uh, others. Honestly, having the opportunist is pretty good if people decide to run past me. Uh, we'll continue down the health. There we go, that's the one I wanted. Cure now actually heals when we're removing negative status effects. Hmm. Enemy leaders are usually very well armored, so I don't think assassinate is a very good skill. Like, if it can break the armor, then they're already in a position where I have advantage. Assassinate won't really work too good. Pancration. Uh... That's an interesting one. Upon killing an enemy, replenish three movement points for nearby allies. But that's the last two turns. Dodging. It's a focus cost skill too, so that makes it interesting. I'm kind of tempted to just keep on going down to Duelist Tree here. Let's pick up... Uh, I'm going to have to spend two points, so I'm probably going to just uh, pick both of these, so let's pick dodging for now. And arrows, grazing. Character's next uh, ranger tank will deal slashing damage. You will additionally knock them down. Three more skill points here to unlock... Uh, Okay, that's an upgraded Overwatch, I think. Like, we have Interrupt, and then we have proper Overwatch. Okay, I kind of want this as well. So, uh, let's go with Gracing Shot first, and then we can pick a powerful kick. Did anyone else level up? Nope. Uh, inventory, we picked up a crafting item, Hemlock. Particularly toxic to humans. We won't try and poison him because, you know, the legend of him being unpoisonable. Um, hostage exchange. Yeah, that's basically what it sounds like. We're gonna trade uh, 
trade our hostage for their hostage. Let's also go and see if we can kill uh, the guy on the way there. Leave. I should have had a look to see if there were any new recruits, but... Uh... For now, that's fine. Let us go to the Temple of Apollon. You find an olive garden, the winding paths across the con countless mountains ranges start to get on your nerves. In attempt to find a shortcut, you enter a grove of olive trees. Uh, the vast grove is pretty more like a forest. The midget trees provide very little visibility, and you soon lose all sense of where you're headed. Uh, let's just turn back, I guess. We could press on. Again, I feel like just doing the thing that moving into the events is the best for the first run because it gives you a lot of information about how these events are going to pan out. So we'll press on. Your Praetorians mildly disapprove. Okay. <laughs> I guess common sense you press on trying to cross the grove and they're not impressed. We gain some rations though. So yeah, not a good move. Let us enter with all our men except for the injured one because we might end up in a battle here. Uh, let's do it like this. The spearmen are good. Okay, here we are. Uh, Remember the guy on top that said he did not like him, so let us see if we can crack this quest. You know he won't. How long will you let him string you along like this? You only see it from the... Let us see if maybe we can get him to poison. Man. It might not be doable, but uh, it's a potential Hello we have. Again. I'd like your help with something, Rianus. I want you to put some leaves in your master's what? tea. Why would I do such a thing? Because I will pay handsomely for it. I think we both want something from Theophilus. I want him as my ally. You want something from him as well, I'm sure. Uh, I'll try and bribe him. What kind of leaves are these? Uh, don't worry about that. <laughs> it's simply name your price. I don't know that I could put a price on Theophilus's trust. Uh, how about a thousand denarii? Those are a lot of denarii. All right. I will do as you ask. Okay, we paid some money and we got the thing done. I need to return to Zenobia. What, did he just magically die already? What happens here now? Let's have a look. Domine, your tea is almost ready. About time. I'll take it in my study. Okay. Uh, is she down here? Uh, this is where the burning temple was. Uh, I need to return to Zenobia. Yeah, she's down here on the left. I was about to say, where's the uh, where's the quest marker? No, he won't. How long will you let him string you along like this? We also have unspent skill points. Hello. Good to see you again. Any news about our agreement? Deed is done. Theophilus is dead. I trust you will uphold your end of the arrangement. I bloodied my hands for you, woman. You'd best make it worth my while. Your husband has been avenged. May his spirit find rest in the afterlife. We'll go for that one, number three. Oh, I feel as if a fist that has squeezed my heart for many months has finally let go. I will get to work at once. The upper echelons of Musia's society owes me much. It is time to collect that debt. What if I told you I could get you into King Mithridates' camp? Utterly unnoticed. Why would I want that? Uh, I would reply that is, this sounds like madness. Sounds like an unmissable opportunity indeed. I agree with that. I knew you would see the possibilities at once. 
I just need you to do one small thing while you are there. Uh, we'll see. I've done enough for you already. Go on then. Let's see what that Theophilus is. Theophilus made a terrible pact with Mithridates. Musia was promised rulership over Troas after the war. The agreement was made in writing. If Troas ever learns of this, well, I believe another war will tear us apart. You want me to find the contract and destroy it? Precisely. I know of a small group of Pontic scouts camped nearby. If you take them by surprise, you should be able to use their uniforms to disguise yourself. That way you and perhaps one of your most trusted people can sneak into Mithridates' main camp. Not a bad plan, if I'm being honest. Bold. But the best spycraft always is. I hope you know where to find that contract. It would be kept either in the king's personal tent or with his scribe. Is this contract really that important? Theophilus is out of the picture. And I have inherited the consequences of his decisions. The contract is made on our city's behalf, and I will be held to account for it. Okay, so she wants to defend herself, basically. What is it you think I'll gain from this? Isn't it obvious? An up-close look at Mithridates' forces. A first-hand headcount? I was you thinking of just catch a assassinating of him. The king himself. Only stay your hand if you do so. An assassination attempt would be ill-advised in those surroundings. Mithridates is known as an excellent general. He's the first of Rome's enemies in a long time to truly threaten the peace of the Republic. I'll think about it. Until you destroy that contract, I cannot risk withdrawing Musia from the siege of Kitsikos. That's, uh, okay, so it gave me, you know, another quest. You leveled up. Let's see what we can give you in terms of skills. Um... 100 damage on your first two first turns. Uh, hmm. Let's just pick up Shiv. Like, it's a nice finisher if I need one. Uh, we will probably end it here, and we'll continue next time. We'll have to see what we do first. If we go for the infiltration mission first, or if we go to the meeting. I don't know if the meeting has a time limit. Uh, we'll have to see on the top bar to see what we figure out. But uh, yeah, we're going to end it here. Thank you for watching, and I do hope that you've enjoyed. I had a lot of fun. And yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.